Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about uh, the second most overworked employee in your lab, and that would be the common cassette clamp. I was originally thinking I was going to do one single video on cassette clamps, but my rule of thumb for this series is to keep all the videos under five minutes. And the more I thought about the cassette clamp, the more I realized there are so many little things that can go wrong on them, there'd be no way I'd be able to cover it in five minutes. So I've divided it up into sections. And this first section is about what to do if your specimen orientation lever won't lock. So this is the lever I'm talking about, and you'll notice that it never engages. And as long as this thing never locks, then you'll never get your specimen clamp to lock, and you'll never get a section. We'll start by turning on the hand wheel brake and removing the blade from the blade holder, which this one's already been removed. And then we're going to remove the entire blade holder. So the next thing we're going to do is remove the cassette clamp. And to do that, you'll move this lever down and you'll pull it straight out like that. And it is designed to come out, so don't worry, you haven't heard anything. Then you'll grab your cassette clamp and just pull it towards you and it'll come straight out. Now take a look at the back of your cassette clamp and you'll see a little Allen screw right there. That little Allen screw is what we're going to be using to adjust it. And we'll need, in this case, and this is not true for all microtomes, but for this one, a three millimeter Allen wrench. And we'll insert it into the screw and turn it just a very little bit. And a little bit goes a long way on these things. To test whether we adjust it enough, we're going to install the cassette clamp back in the microtome. So we're gonna take this hole and orient it with this hole, push our cassette clamp in, then we're gonna take our lever, push it in, and try and lock it. Now in this case, I didn't quite get it adjusted enough because I can push this back fairly easily so that it's touching the microtome case. So we'll take it out again, and we'll turn the screw just a little bit more, and I would say a sixteenth of a turn. The very little bit is plenty. Reinstall it again, Put that back in, and now it's good and tight. In this case, I've actually adjusted the screw too far in, and the lock is only going that far. Now, you can certainly still cut like this, but if you want to turn your head, this is going to be in the way. So just be aware of that. And all you have to do to fix that is remove it and loosen it back, once again, about a sixteenth of a turn. Reinstall it again. And that should be fine. Anyway, that's pretty much all there is to adjusting the lever on this type of cassette clamp. Um, there are other types of cassette clamps out there with other adjustments, and I'll probably do videos on those later, but this is a fairly common one and a good place to start. If you have any questions, comments, leave them below or give us a call, and thanks for watching.